Some very concerning breaking news in the past few minutes about the Labour MP, Geraint Davis. He has been suspended by the Labour Party. Very concerning allegations uh, regarding five women, the youngest being 19, allegations of sexual harassment, physical and verbal. Very, very concerning allegations. What's your response to them? Well, good morning and thanks for having me on the show. Uh, these are deeply troubling allegations and I really do hope that the women affected uh, do come forward and make uh, formal complaints because it's quite difficult to move the complaints process forward without those formal complaints. But I am also very pleased uh, that the uh, Labour Party has taken swift action and, and suspended uh, Geraint's membership, which means automatic suspension of the whip as well, uh, pending the investigation and getting clarity on what has taken place. I mean, this is very concerning, as you say, troubling behaviour from a party who believe they are in waiting. There'll be people at home wondering if this is the sort of behaviour that is present within the Labour Party. Well, I, I'm, I've been a member of Parliament since 2015 and a lifelong member of the Labour Party. And I can assure you that the vast, vast, vast majority of party members and MPs are just great and lovely people who want to make the world a better place and believe passionately in our values and principles. Uh, uh, you know, of course, uh, if there are uh, things going on which should not be going on, that is completely unacceptable. And as I say, I'm very pleased that our whips and Keir Starmer have taken very swift action to suspend Geraint's membership of the Labour Party pending investigation. OK, well, Rishi Sunak is in Moldova today. He is targeting Bulgaria in Turkey uh, in a bid to stop the small boats. He's also been focusing on the channel as well, hasn't he? One of his five promises uh, is to stop the small boats. What's Labour's plan to solve the migration crisis? Well, a lot of it is about fixing the Tory mess. They've completely lost control of uh, immigration and asylum. We've got a massive backlog and some research uh, that we've uh, published today shows that the cost of asylum has rocketed from uh, uh, 550 million when Labour left office in 2010 to 2.1 billion now and uh, rising all the time. So we need to uh, scrap the Rwanda plan because it's unworkable, unethical and extremely expensive and use that money to fund much more expertise in the National Crime Agency to really go after these criminal gangs. Uh, we need to clear the asylum backlog by increasing the seniority of asylum decision makers and case workers in the Home Office to really clear this backlog, which is costing six million pounds a day in, in hotel bills. We need to get a much better relationship with our European partners and neighbours so that we can get a returns deal in place. Uh, and of course, we need to get the safe and legal routes, the family resettlement routes working properly, uh, because a lot of the people, for example, Afghans, uh, who uh, you know we owe a debt of honour and gratitude to them, we're not enabling them to come on safe and legal routes, so they're getting on the small boats. So it's a huge mess that we're going to be uh, taking over uh, if and when we get into government after the next general election. But with hard graft and quiet diplomacy and common sense, I, I genuinely think that we can crack the problem.